I use GitHub to host all of the source code that I want to share with the world. For all of the source code that's still in progress or that I never want to share with the world, I self-host my own instance of GitT on a $300 laptop that I bought on Amazon. There are many self-hostable Git solutions, so why did I go with GitT? Well, first I was going to go with GitLab, and I thought I would just be able to host it on a $5 Linode, but when I actually started looking into it, I realized that GitLab has pretty heavy system requirements, and it would have actually required a $20 Linode in order to host it. The search for another solution actually is what brought me down the rabbit hole of self-hosting originally. While I was looking at all these different Git solutions, I decided that I didn't actually want to pay monthly for the rest of my life to host something. I wanted to do it on my own server and have full control of it. And that brought me to this little $300 laptop that I had lying around that was pretty shitty. So I recognized that I needed something lightweight and fast versus pretty and full of features. After trying all the demos of a few different Git solutions, I found that I really liked GitT the most, mostly just because it was super lightweight, super fast, and I really liked the interface and just the simplicity of it. All of my work that is ongoing or I have not yet decided to open source is stored in GitT. So right now in the devlog series that you may have seen, I'm making a migraine app. All of the commits for that app are stored on my local GitT. I absolutely love it. For those that are curious, I've linked to the exact laptop I'm using for my server in the description. Uh, it's running NixOS, and I absolutely love NixOS for its immutability, but especially for its ability to just run everything from a configuration file, because I don't always have direct access to my server. Right now I'm traveling full time, and so I've actually left my server laptop in the basement of my in-law's house. So I only have remote access to it. And I'm not able to ask anybody there to go down and do all this stuff. It'd be too much to explain. So with Nixos, I can actually just put everything to it into a Nix script and everything runs by itself. So if you would like to see exactly how I'm running Git T in a Docker container the Nix way, you can get the full Nix configuration file that I've used on my website. And I will link that article down below in the description as well. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best of luck setting up your own Git T server.